Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is all about drifting. If that's something you're interested in, you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned for more. We got a new build to reveal. The Pandora Toyota Corolla Van KE70. Alongside the full build video, we're gonna take you guys to the Import Expo downtown Toronto, where we're gonna drift the new wagon. First things first though, let's jump right into this build video and we can see how this wagon was created. Let's go! I started off on a drift body here, 110 scale. Honestly, I started a while ago. It's been a put away project. As you can see, I've already cut it out. Cut out the wheel wells and the front bumper and the back. Uh, if you've never done a body before, generally it comes on a bigger sheet that would be all around it. I've also already cut out the bumpers here and the light buckets and the little details. I've already put in all the stickers for the windows. Those will come on a sheet and you have to cut them all out with the scissors and then peel off the backing and take your time and apply them in the right spot for the windows. Uh, this is so when you then paint the inside, you can peel those off and have clear windows. Um, so that's basically all I've done. So I'm gonna do the main body of the car green, undercoat it with a silver, and some of the details. I have black as well. went ahead and chose these beautiful BBS style rims. I think it will go really nice gold in the green. And this is the nice little tape. I got it from a hobby store as well. Uh, I'm gonna be using this to cover up the headlights and all the fine details for the painting. Let's get this time lapse started and see how this body turns out.
back from paint. We got the wagon back down in the cave, freshly painted. It's definitely time to reveal the body and let's see how the paint job turned out. These parts are always worrisome where it looks like there's paint on it. Let's see. Nothing but beautiful green. That green just turned out awesome. I'm gonna get the window mask off and get those headlights and taillights exposed. And we'll take a look at the bumpers. Uh, oof, that green's looking sick. So definitely a little tip heat up your window mats if you left them on for a while or it's gotten cold come off much easier let's get back to it Ooh. Front bumper came out really nice. Oh, can't wait to see this all together. We're gonna go ahead now and tint the windows, and we're gonna start assembling the car. All right, windows are all done. We're gonna start assembling the bumpers now. Followed up by the light buckets and the front grill. All right, rear tail lights are in. Looking pretty awesome. And just like that, the halos are mounted.
Oscar's in the house. Come on, bud. Hey, Oscar. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay down some vinyl. We're gonna do a windshield banner, and we're gonna do all the body lines. I'm gonna do it quite quick, so if you wanna see a full tutorial on how to do the body lines, check out the video in my DIY section. I have a full video on that. Finished with the vinyl. This wagon's really coming to life with that window trim and the body lines, and the grill, the headlights, the, the whole body it just looks so much more realistic now. <laughs> Gotta swap those wheels first. downtown Toronto. We're heading to the Import Expo. I'm here with some of my best friends. Yeah. We're gonna go check out some cars and do some drifting. Let's go. Woo! 